Gold has attracted the thoughts and motives of people more than any other element in the periodic table, and of all the shapes that the gold can take, gold stands out the most. Perhaps all of this is owing to the natural rarity of the attractive color. Whatever it is, everyone from pirates to miners is passionate about it. Let's talk about the gold nuggets and how they form. Before we get further, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about all these videos. Alright, let's get to it. First up, gold nuggets. A gold nugget is a naturally produced chunk of native gold. Watercourses and placers usually concentrate nuggets and finer gold. Nuggets can be found as residual deposits where gold bearing veins or loads have weathered, as well as in placer mining. The majority of gold nuggets contain 70 to 95% gold, with the remaining mainly consisting of silver. The nuggets now make up less than 2% of all gold recovered. The discovery of gold nuggets in the late 1850s sparked a gold rush that stretched from California and Alaska to South Africa and Australia. Gold nuggets are commonly labeled 20k to 22k pure, indicating that they contain between 83 and 92% gold. Some of the nuggets discovered in Australia are 23k or even higher. Gold nuggets can be used for a variety of purposes. They can be investigated and examined to learn more about our planet's history and development. Many prospectors choose to sell them for profit or turn them into jewelry. Next up, gold nuggets are not 100% pure gold. Gold nugget purity is determined by geography and the composition of the source. Most nuggets are 70 to 95% pure gold. They're never fully pure since they're naturally mixed with other metals and minerals. In newly recovered nuggets, copper, silver, nickel, quartz, and other impurities are common. The metals and minerals in nugget determine its hue, brilliance, and glitter. Laterite nuggets, for example, may be reddish or black, whereas quartz nuggets are white. The richer and deeper the yellowish-orange tint, the higher the gold concentration. Next up, the value of gold nuggets. Us prospectors, gold nuggets is one of the most lucrative discoveries he or she can make. Their true worth, however, is determined by their purity and conditions under which they're sold. For nuggets and flakes, purchasers often provide 70% to 80% of the market price. While the price of gold is quickly increasing today, the monetary value of a nugget is determined by the prospector's knowledge. Knowing how to clean and prepare your nuggets for sale, as well as how much to ask for them, you have a significant impact on your revenues. Gold nuggets, on the other hand, have another important worth considering, which is linked to research and geological investigations. Well, how do gold nuggets form? Initially, scientists assumed that nuggets would form in precise spots on the Earth's surface, which prospectors would then retrieve. Several more recent studies, however, have revealed that the majority of the nuggets found have a similar makeup. They have silver residues and a crystalline structure, both of which are telltale evidence that they did not originate on the surface. These features need extremely high temperatures to develop, implying that they are derived from denser and hotter subsurface areas closer to the Earth's core. Weathering, eruptions, and volcanic activity are all examples of geological processes that have brought this metal to the surface. To refill small amounts of the gold that's previously been mined, this process can take decades, centuries, or millennia. Gold is found on the Earth's surface in the form of loads or veins. This is a portion of magmatic rock with gold in the center. These veins are frequently accompanied by quartz remains. Natural forces such as winds and rains continue to erode gold from the main load, breaking it down and separating it from the vein. The gold nuggets then begin to move towards the bottom of the hill where natural forces carry them to water sources. The biggest concentrations of gold nuggets are generally found in rivers, creeks, and streams. This is because the gold particles will continue to move along the journey of the stream once they leave the load and reach the channel of a river. The journey continues until the current weakens enough for the particles to eventually drop to the stream bed's bottom. The majority of prospectors will discover them there. There are some theories for the forming the gold nuggets, such as the theory of precipitation. Nuggets are formed near the surface as gold particles precipitate from solutions formed by weathering in previous gold deposits, according to this theory. Gold particles were transported into the suspension fluid after soluble gold complexes were saturated with hydrothermal fluids, resulting in a gold colloid. The colloidal granules then build up to the point where they form gold nuggets. Theory of Crystallization According to this theory, nuggets from deep beneath the Earth's surface at high temperatures and pressures. The microscopic gold molecules that are generated eventually combine to form crystalline nuggets. Next up, the theory of biofilm. Bacteria break down gold into nanoparticles, which migrate through rocks and form clumps, according to legend. Cupria vetus metalodurans, a bacterium, produced these nuggets. 
Bacteria and archaea are discovered to be the main force behind the solubilization and precipitation of gold, according to a 2007 report. And finally, the theory of erosion. Historically, it's believed that gold nuggets developed as gold-rich reefs eroded over time. Because of the amount of quartz in them, the legendary Victorian nuggets of Australia were thought to have been created by erosion. And well guys, that's it for the video. What do you think about it? Let us know in the comments below. If you're new to our channel, be sure to subscribe and ring that bell to get notified about our latest videos. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.